WUSA 9 News at 5 begins right now with new reporting on the case of a missing Manassas Park mother. It is a story so many of you have been asking for updates about. And tonight, Mom Takafobot's husband will remain in custody without bond. A Prince William County judge says Naresh Bot poses a threat to the community and that he may be a flight risk. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Leslie Foster and I'm Simone D'Alba. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz was the first to report on Mamta's disappearance. He was inside the courtroom where new details were revealed about the couple's home life prior to the disappearance. So let's talk to Rafa about this. What did we learn? Yeah, Leslie Simone prosecutors say that back in February, Mamta called police and made allegations of domestic abuse against her husband. Prosecutors are also saying that Nadesh Bhatt made some concerning Google searches on his work computer about life after his wife's death. Tonight, prosecutors revealing that the U.S. Secret Service has offered up evidence in the case against Nadesh Bhatt. Back in April, prosecutors say that the 37 year old used his work computer to Google how long does it take to get married after spouse die and what happened to debt died spouse. That moment today, it's like, oh, they've got him for murder one. Manesh Bhatt has not been charged with the murder of his wife of more than three years, Mamta Kaffel Bhatt. The public defender arguing today that without a body, Manesh Bhatt should not be in custody for concealing a dead body. The defense presented this video of Prince William County Commonwealth attorney as evidence. Is she alive, Is she alive or dead? Alive. We don't know. Today, prosecutors said Mamta had spoken to police in February, claiming her husband would not give her her documents and that he had destroyed her phone. They also referenced these Facebook posts where an account under Mamta's name asked for help on a page for single mothers in the DMV. I work two days a week and my husband is not helping to take care of baby. He is saying that if I leave baby with him, he will send child to custody. Is it possible? Mamta was being abused. Mamta cried for help. Mamta was harmed in a significant way by Naresh Bhatt, and we can say that very openly now. Friends and colleagues say Naresh did not disclose to investigators why Mamta would not come home sometimes. You said to me on the phone that she's left before. Yes. Talk to me about that. How many times? What were the circumstances? Did you call police? No, at that time we never called police. You know, like at that time, all together three times. You know, she wasn't going happily on vacation. She was going because she was physically threatened and worried about the safety of her and her baby. Prosecutors say that the last place that Mamta's phone pinged to a cell phone tower was near a body of water in Loudoun County. One of the groups that's been conducting searches says they're going to focus in Loudoun County to continue their efforts to find Mamta. As for Nadesh Bhatt, he's due back here in court on October 24th, but the public defender who's representing him says he wants to move that data because he feels that he should not remain in custody. I'm live in Manassas, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9. Yeah, this court date just sort of affirmed some of the things that we had been hearing along the way. Mamta realized she was in danger. She just didn't know how much danger she was facing. It's disturbing. Right. Rafa, thank you.